Hello, everybody. Normally it's Stuff the Huff, but on this Thanksgiving week, it would be more appropriate to say Stuffed at the Huff. Illini Volleyball starting the regular season's final week against Northwestern. It used to be that this was the traditional Turkey Week football matchup before the Big Ten win all championship game on us and push the schedule back a little bit, start changing things up. So we just get the V-Bowl version instead. Mike Letterer at Huff Hall with more. Mike. Well, Steve, here at Huff Hall, where we are just about a half hour away from the Illini's Big Ten matchup against Northwestern. Now, last night, the Nebraska Cornhuskers clinched their first ever Big Ten championship outright, meaning the Illini will be looking for a second place finish in the conference for the third straight season. Currently, Illinois is 14 and 4 in the Big Ten and are in a second place tie with Purdue and eight time defending conference champions, Penn State. Now, with two games remaining on the schedule, with a win in each game, Illinois would have the most wins in a season since they won 32 games back in 1992. Now, right now, Illinois can't get a win in the uh, Big Ten Championship, so they're really just looking forward to getting ready and upping their play heading into the NCAA tournament next week. Well, we've been talking about postseason play since the beginning of the season. That's where our focus has been the entire time. And so uh, the Big Ten title is something that we felt like if it happens, it happens. For us, we just want to get ready for the tournament. And so, uh, you know, we've, we've been training through the Big Ten. We've been, we haven't rested. We haven't tapered for any of that. And so uh, we're just training hard, getting ready, and we'll start tapering next week. I mean, that's just it. It's just tuning up our offense, tuning up our defense, just working on little details. We've been focused on the details of, of our systems and are focused on the details of our skills and um, just trying to really get those things solidified as we get ready for the tournament so we can play our best in the tournament you know when we rest our legs a little bit we're hoping that that'll help lead us to play at the top level we've played all year now tonight's opponent northwestern is currently in 10th place in the big 10 and with a 6 and 12 record in conference play one could say the illini could be thankful this thanksgiving for getting the wildcats in this spot make sure to tune in to abc news channel 15 at 10 for full highlights of that this matchup Reporting from Huff Hall, Mike Letterer. Steve, back to you. Yeah, everybody waiting for tomorrow and Friday with all the football. Get a little volleyball to get you ready for that. And we'll have the highlights, of course, all wrapped up coming up tonight at 10. The Urban Meyer to Ohio State Comedy Hour continues. Meyer doubling down on his denial that he isn't the next Buckeyes coach. Well, at least right now. He releases a statement through his current employer, ESPN, that says he has not been offered a job and there is not a deal in place. Now, multiple reports say Meyer will be introduced next week as coach after the Michigan Ohio State game this Saturday. A lot of defensive end Whitney Merciless 13 and a half sacks is just two and a half short of the school record held by worldly Simeon Rice at 16. Could Merciless get what's required to tie or break the thing against the two and nine Minnesota team? Sure. It is definitely a goal in mind to break it because uh, you know it's kind of a challenge for me as a uh, you know you know personally as a player. Um, definitely, you know, when you go into a season, you know, you challenge yourself, you know, all the time. Um, then, you know, I didn't think I would be anywhere near, you know, Simeon, Simeon's record or whatever. But uh, definitely, uh, you know, as a personal goal, I definitely want to break it, break it and uh, be that, you know, top leader. <laughs> the Bears put in a waiver claim on former quarterback Kyle Orton, who Denver cut, but Orton ends up in Kansas City instead. That means Caleb Haney is the guy going forward to replace Jay Cutler and his broken thumb at Oakland Sunday. Now, Chicago did sign Josh McCown as insurance this afternoon. I've gotten the full support of my teammates. Um, anybody from, you know, Erlacher to, you know, guys on offense, offensive line, kickers, whatever, they've all given me their two cents on they think I'm going to do a good job. And then tonight from Cancun, the midweek main event of Illinois State against the Illini for the all-inclusive Cancun Challenge title at the Moon Palace Resort. Tips off around 8.30ish or so, probably a bit later than that, just like last night. The Illini 7-0 all-time versus the Birds, the last meeting 04 when the Illini escaped in OT at the Hall against Porter Moser's team then. Illinois won't schedule ISU regularly, even though these schools are only 40 minutes away, but hey, you go to Cancun. And anything goes, but think about it. Illinois, Chicago last year, a lot I lose to Bradley the year before, so trying to avoid that this evening in Mexico. More ABC News Channel 15 coming up next.